We spoke at schools from Arizona to Africa, and we were so inspired by these kids. You know, and that's when we realized that this right here, this is a badge, you know. This is a badge of passion, and not just my passion, but every single one of y'all's passions, and the passions of literally hundreds of thousands of people now all over the world. We hit 4 million people in 180 countries right now. You know, it's crazy. And, you know, but the problem with passion, the problem with passion is that it's the most overused, underserved word in human history. Right? Because every single one of us knows the power of following our passion, but 99% of us don't go all in on it. We hold back. Right? And what I learned is that, you know, a lot of the reasons why we don't do it, a lot of the reasons we sit, we sit here on this cliff between what we do and what we love are self-built. They're internal. Our own fears, our own insecurities, our own doubts. And that's what this movement has hit head on. Because we've been punching people in the gut about what is it that you love, you know? And we've been punching them out of their safe and sound and suffocating boxes and into a life that's centered on their passion. And the other thing that we realize is that the systems and structures around us don't help us, right? The educational system is the least passion-centric system in history. We know that because we talked to hundreds and thousands of kids in the last 12 months, and they're frustrated, they're being put in boxes. You know, I learned early on in Be Somebody when people were like, well, what the hell is it? And I couldn't even describe it. And I started thinking in my head, definition is the enemy. When you define it, you can find it. Let it grow. Let people decide what it is. You know? And the, the systems around us don't help us. You know, when we go speak at these schools, we speak full assemblies. You know, we've been speaking to high schools all across the country. The most boring part is when I speak for 45 minutes. The cool part is the last 15 minutes when I say, who in here, I want three people to come up here, share your passions with me and the rest of the school, right? And it's the same thing that happens every single time, guys. It's not the head cheerleader or the captain of the football team that walk up to the stage. You've seen this. When they come up there, it's people when they're walking up, you're like, man, I don't even know if this person has ever spoken in front of anybody let, let alone, you know, on a stage with the mic, with the lights on, with the video camera in their face in front of 2,000 people, you know. And when they get up there and we say, tell us your passion and tell us what you're going to sacrifice. And when they get up there, they don't just say, hey, my passion is graffiti and I'm going to stop hanging out with my boys, you know. They get up there and they unleash this emotional firestorm of abuse, addiction, of bullying, of fear, of insecurity, of doubt. If of, man, my parents just don't understand. They don't get it. Or my, my mom is the only one on this planet that believes in me, and that's why I want to go do this. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. You know, they, they, they erupt, you know. And, and every single time I've been either on the stage or in the front row, and I've been sitting there thinking, I'm just a regular freaking dude. But I can make every single one of these kids' dreams come true by just connecting them with people. Oh, Blandon, you love rock climbing? Let me introduce you to Sierra. She's the best freaking rock climber in the world, you know? Oh, Rick, you love skydiving? Marshall Miller, Jesse, Neil Amundsen, those guys are the dopest skydivers on the freaking planet. Why don't we have them teach you, you know? And it's not rocket science, but it is revolutionary. If we could create a system, if we could reorganize the world with passion at the center, we're doing something that nobody's ever done before. Right? So think about these kids and then think about Danny Gamble, the person that went around the world. His art is literally on more countries than any graffiti artist on the planet. You guys see what he can do. When he was leaving here, and hopefully he doesn't even mind me telling you guys, when, we were, when he was leaving here, I was taken in the airport. His girlfriend called him and she, they were like having an argument. And I was like, what happened? He's like, oh, we, we, couldn't, we didn't have enough money to pay the electric bill. <laughs> and I'm sitting here thinking, how the hell is that possible? You're a freaking amazing artist. When I spoke to, to schools, I heard at least two dozen people get on a stage and say they wanted to be graffiti artists. Like, we, there's, there needs to be a connection here. There is no platform that connects these people. Right? right now, we're in the middle of an economic revolution. Everyone here in Austin knows what it is. They call it, the formal name for it is the sharing economy. Right? Airbnb. Uber, Lyft, they enable us to monetize our personal possessions. 
Airbnb, you got a five bedroom house. There's three bedrooms upstairs that you're not using. You could be making money off those three bedrooms by posting it on Airbnb. I think Uber just came to Austin this past week, right? <coughs> All of you could be Uber drivers right now. Your car is sitting in your driveway when you're at home watching ESPN. You could be making money off that. You know, those, those companies are blowing up. The sharing economy is exploding. Peer-to-peer -peer sharing, monetizing the unused capacity of your personal assets. But what we realized from going around the world, we traveled 75,000 miles bootstrapped for the last 16 months. I cashed out my 401k, sold everything I could, pissed off my girlfriend in the process. <laughs> and what we realized, guys, is that your house or your car or your jewelry or your suits or anything in your freaking closet are not your most valuable asset, right? Your personal passion, what you love, what you can't sleep at night because you're thinking about, what you wake up early because you're thinking about, what you dream about doing every single day, what you work for nothing for is your most valuable asset. You should be able to monetize it. You should be able to make money doing what you love. Right? When you go talk to people, you say, well, what do you do? They tell you this. And you say, well, what do you do? Or what do you love? And they tell you this. And you're like, well, why aren't you doing this? You're like, well, I can't make money off of it. And that's what we want to change. Right? We believe we have the potential here, starting in Austin, to create the next economic revolution. And I'm, look me in the eyes. I'm not bullshitting you on this. I 100% believe it because I spoke with so many people around the world and I know that that's what they want. There's nothing out there for them. We're building, and we wanted to share with you guys first, we're building a mobile platform that connects people based on shared passion. It, it will enable people around the world to explore, discover, and unleash whatever it is you're passionate about. If you love graffiti, you can type it into our platform. You can explore it through finding content that's specific to graffiti because the way that you kind of get inspired at scale is through beautiful photos and videos. You can discover by finding people around you, whether they're across the street or across the state, that share that passion for graffiti. And the coolest part, guys, is that you can unleash by connecting with experts that we're calling passionaries who can then teach you. You know, the passionaries decide what the experience is, where it is, how much it is. And the marketplace dictates a value. If JC wants to learn from Danny Gamble, the best graffiti artist in the world, Danny says, hey, we're going to meet at the Capitol building. It's $200 for two hours. We're going to grab our Montana 94. We're going to learn how to spell your name in Spanish since JC is from Dominican Republic, and it's going to be $200. You know, and if it's the best, best experience you ever had, JC's going to be like, Dan, that's the best $200 I ever spent. I would have paid $1,000 to learn from Danny freaking Gamble. You know, JC rates Danny on the system or on the experience. Danny rates JC. And he's like, JC showed up late. He didn't care. He was on his phone all the time. One star, you know, and no expert wants to work with him. This is how Uber is regulating their economy. This is what we're building, guys. We're calling it the passion economy. We're building it for you. You know, we want to enable everyone to build a dream. We're building it for you, and we're building it together. And it's a win for everybody because the passionary, well, because the student gets to do what they love by learning from the best in the city. The passionary gets to do what they love and make money off of it. And there's nothing dirty about making money on your passion. It's the best gift you can give to the world. And we, we, we win because we get to bring the people together, and that's what fuels us. That's our passion. You should be able to do what you love. Unleash your passion. There's nothing bigger. So we really appreciate y'all's support. Thank you for coming out and sweating for 15 minutes while I spoke. Um, next time we'll, be, we'll do it in the winter. <laughs> we appreciate you guys coming. Cheers, guys. I appreciate you guys. Be somebody on three, and then we're going to drink whatever we're drinking. One, two, three. Be somebody. It's not rocket science, but it is revolutionary. If we could create a system, if we could reorganize the world with passion at the center, we're doing something that nobody's ever done before.